Hello everyone, my name is Jamie Palmer. In today's video, we're going to be trading the crossover strategy with the Binary Destroyer 6.0. Now, I haven't actually talked about this strategy in a long, long while. It was actually created by one of our admins uh, who, ha who had great success with it trading binary. And it seems to be over the last couple of weeks, uh, that strategy has come to surface again and a lot of members have started trading it. So I thought I would just have a big refresher of that strategy what's it involved uh, and then we can do some live trading and so what is the crossover strategy with the binary shoyer well we're using the bends and pullback modes now if we head over to the charts now uh, i'll explain to you what uh, the bend and pullback modes are so let me just uh, bring up a random currency pair aud usd and we'll flick this over to the one minute time frame okay now when i say and in fact, we actually just missed a perfect signal. Look at that. And um, we might be able to actually ride this down. Okay. Why is my, um, in fact, I'm going to get rid of that moving average. I don't know why I just added that in. And I'm going to get rid of that one. And I'm going to add the stochastics in instead. And oscillators there we go and i'm actually going to right watch this everyone i'm gonna i'm gonna absolutely annihilate this pair now i'm gonna make a lot of itm so i'm gonna bring up my um new order okay what will we trade in we will trade in Oh, here we go. We were trading AUD USD. Okay, all right. So I'm a, I'm a little bit uh, disorientated. AUD USD. I'm going to flick over to AUD USD, which is here. Okay, I'm going to pop this over like that so you can see it. Okay, so what is the crossover strategy, and what did I mean when I said the bends and pullback? So when you first install the binary shoyer, you get something like this i'm sure you've seen all my videos before when we've got our sell zone at the top here and buy zone at the bottom okay now hold on let me just uh pause the video okay i'm back so i had to install um my, i had to install something on my computer so i can start drawing on the charts like this um uh so yeah when you load up the binary short, you normally get something like this. Uh, this is our buy zone and this is our sell zone. Okay, and if you look in the top left corner here, you will see a number of different settings, pullback mode on, pullback mode off. Now, what I mean by the bends and pullbacks is when you actually uh, click on these strategy, uh, click on these buttons. It changes the strategy. So when we're trading the crossover, we want to be trading when it looks like this. Okay, and this is how we trade the pullback and the bend strategy. Okay. Um, if you haven't seen the bends or pullback, I suggest you head over into uh, a couple of videos or the members area, and you'll see a couple of videos on that. Um, I mean, yeah, if you zoom in, okay, what it basically means is if I change this to a different color, we've got our green line here, which is our big moving average. This is our this is our BD line, okay? Now, we also have a moving average here. Now, when we have space in between this, this is called our buy and sell zone. This is where we want to be taking trades, okay? Uh, and this is, this is what you trade if we're trading the pullback or bend strategy. Okay, now uh, I'm going to, I'm going to absolutely rate, watch me make some money now. Okay, I'm just going to keep firing. I'm going to keep firing trades uh, every five minutes on this. Okay, and um, they will all become winners. Um, and I'll, I'll explain to you why. Okay, so the crossover strategy here basically means when the green and the white cross over, it becomes a crossover okay this means that the trend is changing and we've got a a, sw a, a, a change in direction okay so if we go over if we just zoom out we can look at the bigger picture okay here's our here's my arrow which i kind of already kind of knew uh i'm going to fire in another couple more trades uh keep going i'm going to keep going i'm going to keep going 
and hopefully there we go it's just giving me a signal okay so these will all just come into the money now which will be nice so yeah the crossover strategy means when the green crosses the white uh, it becomes a crossover so this point here is the crossover okay now what this means again is the trend is changing okay if we zoom out you can look at the bigger picture and you'll see let me just get rid of this and everything if you zoom out okay look at the bigger picture we had an uptrend okay big push up here and now it looks like we're starting to creep down we're starting to slow down okay and that means that means the momentum is slowing down so basically as soon as we get a crossover we're getting on the first pullback which is this one okay you see the first pullback here this is what we get into uh, i've got a couple of minutes before these trades come in but these are going to come in nicely uh, and in fact i could fire in a couple of more down oh, i can't actually I mean, i've got to wait i've got to wait for the time to go down but basically what this means is we've just had a crossover and now we're trading the pullbacks on the way down so this is the uh, this is the crossover strategy and this is what i said about it being the bends and pullbacks okay we're waiting for the crossover we're getting on the first pullback second pullback third pullback and this is where i said that i'm just going to ride the trend down now okay uh, when you spot something like this you're already ahead of the market because you already know the market is reversing okay a lot of traders at this point would zoom out and go yes jamie that's an uptrend but by looking at the crossover and the pullbacks we can see that it's actually a downtrend and as you can see look the price is nicely dropping okay and you can see all five of these trades will uh, all four of these trades will come nicely into the money now now what we can do is just keep riding and riding this down okay there's our first pullback okay if i zoom in and i'll put this to the side this is our first pullback here we pull down we pull back up this is our second pullback okay and as you can see all of these are nicely in the money now what i can do is a little bit cheeky now i can wait for the price to come back up into this zone and take another sell trade okay um and this is what i call riding the trend okay uh, i used to trade the crossover strategy a lot with the binary destroyer and um it's a really good strategy to uh to tell when the price is reversing let me just load up a another currency pair okay um let's just pick usd jpy okay we'll load up the binary destroyer and we will I'll, I'll i will show you exactly what's happening okay so that's the normal binary destroyer yep uh, we click these top left buttons in the top left corner and um and here we go okay so again right we'll zoom out let me go to the one minute time frame and i will go to the end okay and this is in fact i need to when you're trading this strategy you need to have the stochastics oscillator in here okay right so here's another example okay we've got a big of sideways movement okay this is not the best uh currency pair to trade because if you look at it for, uh, from a distance you can see the price is just going sideways okay look at the weaving price zones are constantly crossing over okay so this is not a good currency pair to trade okay so i would say this a little bit risky um so i'm not going to use that as an example because it's not the best um but if you see let me just move everything over here it's giving me another signal a do you do but look at these trades absolute nice nice trades here you can see all of these are going into the money now well in fact all of them are going to be winners um no let me try and find you one okay euro usd let's see what happens on euro usd one minute chart okay okay here we go here's another perfect example look at the crossover okay uh we actually missed this trade here look at this nice pullback here if the stochastics is overbought on this uh, arrow this means this is actually a very good trade and in fact we missed this yeah look look again look at the picture uptrend clearly an uptrend we're crossing over now this is the point here where we're just about to cross over okay if you look at a trend line this is not a trend line but i'm just giving you an example you see how the price was above this we've now broken below it 
The two moving averages are about to cross over, signifying the momentum is changing. So I already know now that on EURUSD, we're going to head down. Okay, this is a crossover. This is the crossover strategy. So let's be a little bit cheeky. Okay, uh, what were we just trading? Um, we were trading USD. Euro USD and AUD USD. Okay, so let's put this side by side like this. Okay, and what was the other one? Euro USD. Okay, so let's just be a little bit cheeky and let's try and get some pips out of these. Yeah, so get rid of that one. Don't want that one. I want this one here. Okay, here we go. Right. Two perfect crossovers, okay? Pull back mode on, pull back mode on, pull back mode on. Okay, so I'm gonna pop this like this, like this. Uh, and and yeah, let's just, I'm gonna zoom in here. And um, yeah, let's just ride the trends down now. Now, if you're trading this strategy with the Binance Show 6.0, you can not constantly ride the trend, okay? This is the crossover. So the idea is you get the crossover, you get in on the pullbacks, right? That's it. Okay, you can't keep trading this uh, at the end of a, uh, off the on the end of a trend. Okay, this only works at the beginning of a trend. Now I'm looking at EURUSD here, and I think the price is going to carry up because we haven't actually crossed over there. Uh, AUD USD is still going down, which is good. Look at AUD USD. Every see this is clearly a downtrend. We're making lower lows. You see the lower lows if I uh, zoom in. Can you see the lower lows? We're still going lower and look at the lower highs here, here and here. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Um, yeah. So, so yeah. So the idea is, I mean, what are we on? Four nil at the minute? We're on four nil, aren't we? So let's just write this down. Four wins, losses, okay? And we are gonna put this like this and we've got so far four wins, yeah? And I'll, we'll see how well we can, I'm a bit wary on EURUSD. EURUSD is risky at the minute because we haven't got a crossover on the two uh, price lines. So I'm a little bit, look at that big engulfing candle. Um, but we will see what happens. Let me see if there's any other currency pairs. I would say GPUSD looks good, but um, again, I don't like quite like GPUSD because it's just crossed over again. Uh, see, this is a point where, this is something where I wouldn't trade, okay? Because remember what I said in my la with the last currency pair, is price is going sideways here, right? This, we had a crossover here and we've got another crossover here, right? So to me, that's going sideways. We cannot, you know, we can't trade a pullback when the market's tra uh, going sideways, okay? It's just ranging. You can't trade tra trade in a ranging market, okay? So USD, uh, USD. let's bring this back up. Okay, right. Okay, here's our second trade on AUD USD. Here's our second trade. Uh, Stochastics crossed over. Um, we're making lower lows. We're rejecting from our moving average. Uh, so let's fire in a couple. I'm going to wait for this. I'm going to keep going on this one. No, we're rejecting. Okay, no, USD is going high. Here we go. There we go. I'm going to fire one trade in there. Price has dropped, so we're going with the money here, which is nice. Um, there we go. Price is going up again. I'm going to get another trade in. Wait for that signal arrow. There 
I see the clock here at the bottom. I'm waiting for this. It'll give me an alert in a minute. There we go. There we go. There's my alert. I'm going to get into another trade. Uh, I'm going to get into another trade. Okay, nice, right? That's it. I'm done. I'm happy. Um, so this is... Your USD has just gone crazy. Um, give me a minute, everyone. I've just got to pause the video. Hi, everyone. Sorry about that. Uh, my front door went. Right, so... AUD USD. Okay, what's going on with these trades? Uh, nothing is happening, but we are getting rejection. So I might fire in another trade. I'm going to might just whack it up a bit to 25. Okay, right. So we're good. It looks like we are again about to turn. We are in that sell zone. So remember previously when I was saying that the price has to come into this zone here. Okay, which is now done. Okay, Stochastic's overbought. We had a signal arrow uh, and we are making lower lows. So we should, in theory, start to slow down. We, st we should start to start dropping at this point. So we've got exactly one minute to go. Um, price is still pushing up. Better. I've got another signal on USD JPY signal down. So let's see what happens at this point here. Stochastic, right? Let me see the RSI. Okay, RSI has peaked over. Uh, Stochastics is leveling out. Um, this candle here should start going red, and we should start dropping. which it is. Let me see what EURUSD is saying. Okay, EURUSD is also turning, um, but EURUSD is very bullish at the minute. I'm, I'm very wary of trading EURUSD. Okay, here we go. Here's our drop. Okay, that see that, see that candle here? See that drop here? Here we go, here we go. Here's the push down now. Hopefully these all come into the money uh, and that would be what? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine nil. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Keep pushing, keep pushing. There we go, there we go. All nicely into the money. Come on, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Right, so that five nil. Five nil. Wait for these. Oh, look at that big push down. You see, look at that. Look at that. Nice. Six nil. This is exactly what I said about you can, if you master this crossover strategy, you can literally all day long just uh, pick these off. And, and, and unfortunately, we actually missed the top one here. This this top one here would have given us, let's say, 1-0, then it would have been 2-0, and then it would have been 3-0, okay? Um, and yeah, as you can see, one minute to go. And what would that be? Nine, no, five, six, seven, eight. It would have been nine nil. So yeah, as you can see, I would have just done nine nil. Or obviously for the people watching this video, uh, two nil because obviously I stacked some trades. Uh, but yeah, I mean, as you can see, um, really effective strategy. Uh, and I'm glad I showed you it in this video because I haven't, haven't showed you this strategy in a long while. Um, so we've got one minute to go. Uh, and I'll let's look at EURUSD, okay? See how EURUSD has still not crossed over? You see this? It's still not crossed over. So this is not a crossover strategy, right? So you can't, even though the momentum looks like it's changing, if I bring up a uh, trend line, look at this perfect example of a trend. It's not the best, but can you see how we are actually slowing down? We looks like we are reversing and we've just made our first 
uh, lower high look we've got a higher high higher high another higher high and now it looks like we might have our first lower high uh, we've definitely got a first lower low as well so uh, this could be a good time to trade if you get the price to come down here cross over and then just do exactly what i did just do something like this all the way down uh, but i mean that's today's video um oh no let's just hope this last one comes into the money 20 seconds to go now we're pulling back up but you see we are rejecting okay we are in the money we might lose this trade typical the one trade that i up my trade size i lose three two one okay lost so i lost the trade okay but yeah um you see now at this point this would be me done i wouldn't i'm not going to be trading anymore on this currency pair uh you ask your answer is why uh, and the simple reason is we have not gone lower now watch this look we've got a lower low a lower low a lower low but then we've just made another uh, lower high okay so at this point we're not actually going lower we're actually going sideways okay which you can see here so so yeah i hope you liked today's video today was 8-1 uh, if you have any questions just drop me an email thebinaryshoy at gmail.com thank you